Hey folks, Kip Adams from QDMA here. There's lots to talk today about harvest and antlerless deer, and hunters today are far more knowledgeable about the importance of harvest and antlerless deer to help balance deer herds with a habitat. I'm a big fan of early season harvest, primarily because at that time of the year, you can have the greatest size discrepancy between adults and fawns to allow you to do the best job shooting adult deer, and hence putting the more, more meat on the table. Now, some people are concerned when they have fawns and say, you know what, am I sure that if I shoot that doe, that those fawns will survive by themselves. And a great rule of thumb on this is to understand that most states deer seasons are designed to start well after fawns are weanable by the mothers. Essentially, fawns can be weaned at about 10 weeks of age or about 70 days. And actually, fawns can survive on their own from a ruminant standpoint, somewhere between 40 and 60 days. Now, fortunately, most of our deer seasons start far after that. So we're in really good shape from hunters. But a real good way to tell in the field of whether a fawn likely is old enough or not is really to take a look at the presence of spots. If I'm hunting and I see a doe and a fawn and the spots are real bright or very distinct, I'm going to give that fawn the, the benefit of the doubt and pass on that doe to give it some more time to make sure that she not only can provide more nutrition, but also a bunch of really good teaching lessons to that fawn, particularly in the face of increasing predator populations in many places today. However, if I see a doe that has a fawn or fawns, and those spots are gone on the fawns or they're very indistinct, my heart rate starts to quicken a little bit uh, as I hope that that doe will soon occupy a place in the freezer in my home. For more information on hunting related or management related deer, habitat, or anything to help hunters get involved, check us out at QDMA.com.